part of my day job now is to go around the country talking to people who run hyper local websites um, of the sort who discussed it from Dunbridge Wells or whatever. Um, so my favourite one was a site called CroydonIsCrap.com. <laughs> and he no, very, very intriguing, but the man was mad. And, and the site, well, I thought it was mad. And the site, site, site went under. But the vast, vast majority of sites I look at are positive and optimistic about the place in which they're set. Yeah. Um, the crazy sites that are relentlessly negative just go into their own crazy corner. Um, and you can just, just not go there, that's the joy of it. It's not like telly, isn't it? You know, constantly streaming through. You just don't have to go and click on it. So, you that? The King, King's Cross, were you blogging in a negative way? No, I was blogging in a neutral way and saying, um, there is a lamppost that has not been fixed for 163 days. So can you fix it, please? Um, I wouldn't actually get in a, into a pejorative debate. It would never demean a council officer or a councillor. I was strictly a partisan. So um, people from, I've always praised council officers. I wish the council would allow officers to comment directly on my website because people would love to hear from them yes. because they have very good relationships with those officers. But every now and then, things do go wrong and people will express themselves about it. We've got a big, if you look at the front page of kingscrossenvironment.com right now, uh, one of my contributors has just gone nuts because there's ridiculous consultations being put up by Camden about King's Cross, and they find King's Cross as being an area that's exclusively within Camden. You know, in fact, half of it's in Islington, um, as anyone who knows the area will tell you. And uh, it's insulting. And if someone insults me and ignores me and demeans me and tries to build a big concrete building on top of me, <coughs> then I'm going to get a bit unhappy about that. But not in a majority way. On my site, I insist contributors are polite, and I actually delete part of political comments, even if they come from councillors. They go, because I don't want to.